Hey everyone, it's the local lab back with another exciting dive into the world of AI. Today, we're talking about how you can enhance your AI experience. Forget relying solely on big tech companies, we're going local. We're exploring Open Web UI, a powerful and feature-packed web interface that allows you to run both open source and closed source language models. This versatile tool lets you harness the capabilities of large language models right on your own machine, giving you more control and flexibility than ever before. Imagine having ChatGPT-like capabilities, but with complete privacy, offline access, and the freedom to use open source models. That's the power Open Web UI puts in your hands. We're talking text-to-speech capabilities, image generation, local document Q&A with RAG, web searching, all within a slick and easy-to-use interface. This project is so awesome it has over 29,000 stars on GitHub. The open source community loves it. All right, let's jump right into getting Open Web UI set up on your machine. Don't worry, it's surprisingly simple. Think of this as prepping your workspace. We'll be using Miniconda, a package manager that helps organize our AI tools. Head over to Anaconda's website, a quick Google search will do, and download the Miniconda installer for your operating system. Click on the Miniconda executable in your downloads folder and follow the instructions to install it on your system. Once Miniconda is ready, fire up your Anaconda prompt search for it in your Windows search bar. Now, type the following command to create a dedicated environment for Open Web UI. This keeps everything neat and tidy. Make sure you're creating this environment with Python 11 as other versions might conflict with the install. Now activate the environment by typing. Conda activate open web UI. You'll notice your command prompt might change slightly with the name of the environment now showing to the left of the directory path, indicating you're in the right environment. With our environment prepped, installing open web UI is a piece of cake. Simply type pip install open web UI. This command fetches open web UI and all its dependencies and installs them. You can take a quick break as this might take several minutes. Time to start up the server. Type Open Web UI Serve and press Enter. This initializes the startup and downloads the remaining models needed to run the additional features, then launches the Open Web UI server. You'll see a localhost URL pop up in your terminal. Copy that and paste it into your web browser. If you run into an unable to connect error, adjust the URL by removing the S in HTTPS and adding 127.0.0.1 in the URL's IP address. This should solve the issue and bring you to the local Open Web UI webpage. Create a local account and sign in. Once signed in, you will be welcomed to the main interface of Open Web UI. We've got our interface, now let's add some brain power. We'll be using LM Studio, a fantastic tool for running open source language models. Head over to the LM Studio website and download the installer for your system if it's not installed already. Once installed, open LM Studio and start downloading your favorite open source language model. Once your model is downloaded, load it up in LM Studio. Next, navigate to the Server tab and start the API server. Take note of the localhost URL provided. We'll need this to connect it to Open Web UI. Back in Open Web UI, click on Settings and head to the Connections tab. Paste the LM Studio API URL into the OpenAI API Base URL field. In the API key field, just type None. Save your settings and get ready to chat. Head back to the main interface and select your model in the top left. Sometimes the model might not appear immediately in the model list. I suggest selecting a ChatGPT option as a workaround. It should still work with the local model. That's it. You now have a fully functional, 
locally run AI assistant powered by Open Web UI and LM Studio. If you would like to chat with your local documents, just click on the plus icon and add your documents and chat away. And there you have it, your very own private AI assistant, free and running locally on your machine. What do you think about Open Web UI? If you would like for me to create more tutorials on what cool things you can do with this UI, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting AI adventures. Until next time, keep exploring the incredible world of AI.